one thing I forgot to point out in my last video related to the stern design. Probably you already know a streamlined stern design will provide better tracking. This is my Gen 3. You can see when I started pedaling it, video. the bow swings left, right, left, right. It takes more effort to keep the boat to travel in a straight line. Now, take a look at Gen 10. Initially, the bow swings left and right. However, this left, right, left movement reduced quickly as the boat was gaining speed. One unique thing about using Corplus to build boats is I can easily modify the characteristics of the boat by changing the fold lines. In 2018, I created my Gen 3, a very simple boat. However, there's one major issue with the triangular shape. It doesn't create a wide water plane and the boat is not stable. If I were heavier, probably the stability would be sufficient because the width of the water plane increases with the loading on the boat. It was the first time I took Gen 3 to the river. I didn't estimate the stability of the boat and it flipped over easily. With Coral Plus as the boat building material, it allowed me to fix the problem easily. I added two more fold lines at the front. This resulted in making the water plane larger and wider. Then I tested it again. The boat works fine. And I fixed it, the stability problem. I came across the same issue with my Gen 12, but this time is different. I was able to estimate the stability. I add a 25 pounds battery to enhance the stability of the boat. Later, I modified the design by adding these four lines, and the boat works well even with a lighter load. Paul has been building beautiful bowls using a mix of corplus, wood and screws. This year I experimented to use heat fusion to replace wood, glue and screw. If you look at the photos of these two bowls, they look very similar, yet they are very different. What I did was I recycled the Gen 3, modified the design, I removed these fold lines, adding more fold lines. I also cut open the rectangular stern along these curves, and then I heat fused them together again to form a more streamlined stern. I make the deck in the front smaller to reduce the weight of the boat. I also reused those coral pursed to create stiffness. The boat structurally is strong and light. It weighed less than 10 pounds without a seat. I did use four screws in this design to mount two cross beams, so I can tie the boat down on the car rack. I used the same sheet of coral plast. I was able to change it from a very simple triangular bottom to a more complex and better hydrodynamic bottom. Gen 10 turned out to be a very successful experiment using heat fusion mainly to build a boat. And it is also a very good starting point for me to build my future larger boat. Thanks for watching. Appreciate if you give me thumbs up if you find this information useful. Thanks for subscribing. I will be uploading more videos in the next few weeks. See you. Bye.